Hey guys, guys what's up? Welcome to for yet another player Freddy review today. Review and onto their channel. today we have the sporting version of Freddy Montero. He got an inform last year, gold one as well, which was really good. So I really wanted to try this one out. He just came out like a couple hours ago. So picking him up for 30k was pre a pretty nice deal in my opinion. I checked the market. There was only one like low by now and it was 40k so I couldn't make a bit of a profit but hopefully I have this out on the first day he comes out and yeah guys he has four star skills four star weak foot 79 pace 80 dribbling 82 shot and those are basically all his standout stats he's 5'9 so he's not going to be winning that many headers but he got I think he's transferred to the Portuguese league and he scored like a hat trick on his debut, that's why he got his inform. But let's get into the in game stats, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back and let's get into his in game stats. You see that he has 84 ball control, 80 curve, 81 dribbling, 87 finishing, which is going to be really good. And I th uh, his, de uh, his free kick is going to be pretty decent as well. His heading's not going to be that great. His long shots look pretty decent with that 85 long shots. And the shot power, 7. No, wait, never mind. The shot power is 88, so those long shots are going to be immense. And as well as 83 volleys. Medium, medium work rate, so I don't think that's going to be really good. But it really won't bother me that much. His uh, physical stats look really good. Not like freak, uh, a bongla. A bongla ugh. You know, the, the striker from Aston Villa, I can't pronounce his name right now, I don't know why. Like He's not like a bent or something, but he's just like a decent paced guy. And uh, his aggression is pretty high too. And if you guys want to see any of those in-game stats closer, just pause the video. And I'll be back with some clips. Hey guys, I'm back with some clips. And in the first clip here, we I'm just showing off Montero's passing and his dribbling skills. He gets past a couple defenders and then he's right there for the tramp. He's in good position. The medium, medium work rates really didn't affect me right there in that goal. And on to the next clip we go, guys. And in that clip, we just it's just showing off, I think, a bit of Montero's shot, his skills, and then a great goal from Montero, to be honest. Really good goal. Really nice bit of, like, uh, I think that was a reverse step over and maybe even some other skills in there. And then a great finish. Hits, hits the post and goes in. And the next clip we have, um, it's just showing off, I think, his heading in this one. He actually d did win me a few headers. I think this was one of the only ones he scored, but he... For a, fi a guy 5'9", he does win a decent amount of headers. And he was pretty decent in the air. I really wouldn't use him as a target man, but pretty decent in the air. And here, it just shows off his pace. He gets past Kanu, the 80 pace center back, and finishes it near post with his great finishing. That's what I found out about him. He's a really good player. I really didn't know. Any like He doesn't have that many cons. I bought him for 30k, so he's pretty cheap. The only thing I'd say that's bad about him is medium medium work rates and that really did not affect me that much to be honest. And if you guys definitely have 30k which I think almost everyone around this time of foot has, definitely go try him out. You won't be disappointed. Best player on ultimate team that I've tried out for his price. Not like I know Ronaldo's better but for his price 30k probably the best player I've tried out on ultimate team this year. And you guys see him scoring some wonderful goals from outside the box, inside the box. Some finesse shots, I think. Actually, not that many finesse shots. I really abused his power shot since it was crazy. He had like 88 shot power or something. And, yeah, the 4-star skills is really good. It'd be nice if he had 5. It'd be really nice if he had 5-star skills. But the 4, it's not that bad. And I did buy him on the like the first few hours he came out. So, his price should... um should go down below 30k unless there's a weird like something happens with the market if his price goes up i don't know but that's a great goal from him right there near post op i think that's like 35 yards and from that angle that's a great goal for montero once he scored that goal i was like yes this guy's a must buy and his weak foot from outside the box as well is really good as you guys saw there that's like maybe a 25 yarder and he scores that, and I think that was on um, Diego Alves, gold goalkeeper as well, so that's really good. And another like thing about him was he had great long shots. I did show some clips already, I think, of his long shots. He n didn't score that many. I don't think he even scored one long shot, other than the one he just scored. He didn't score that many, but they dipped like crazy. They had crazy shot power. As you guys saw in the in-game stats, he had crazy long shot stats with the shot power as well. And from this clip, he almost scored from a corner, but Fellaini cleared it off the line. And yeah, 
Here, he's just, that's David Luiz, he's uh, being faster than and like outskilling right there. It's a great goal for him. And basically, I'd rate this guy 10 out of 10. Must buy. You guys gotta try him out. Only thing bad about him is his um, his uh, work rates, which really did not affect me in game. His dribbling's immense, his shot's crazy, his heading's good for someone that, his height. And if you guys definitely have the coins, go try him out. If you guys enjoyed this review, don't forget to drop a like, leave me some feedback if you think I did something wrong, and don't forget to sub to my channel, and peace.